guys, have you been watching me sleep? Okay. Oh, gotta fix this. There we go, that's much better. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I got a new outfit on. Let's see. Wait, what's this notification say? Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today is going to be really cool and pretty different too because I'm finding a different way to film videos, but um, Today is a really big day. It's because Toy Fair has started today and there have been some really cool pictures released of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise along with some new Godzilla King of the Monsters merchandise. So I'm really looking forward to going over it. Also, look what I got. I found this guy at Books A Million. It's a 24 inch uh, Godzilla 2014 by NECA. I was stunned they even had them anymore. I thought they uh, didn't sell them, they, like they were sold out, like they weren't being sold anymore, but they actually were. And I managed to pick it up and I'm going to review it very soon. The first thing I'm going to go over is the NECA 6 inch Godzilla 2019 and I have to say it looks fantastic. The sculpt, it, it's a brand new sculpt and it looks really good. Um, I think the head is from the previous 2014 sculpt, but man this one just looks so much better than 2014. Um, like, uh, especially the dorsal fins, like, man, it just looks so good. NECA is also making an Atomic Breath version, and this one looks just as good, if not better. This one looks amazing. Without a shadow of a doubt, I'm gonna buy this. By the way, both of these figures will retail at $20. NECA is also making a Mothra figure, and it looks good. It looks pretty good. The, the um, like, the bottom, like, smaller wing is kind of shaped a bit weird, and... The coloration is starting to look more like a monarch butterfly. Like, I like the blue coloration just a tad bit better, but it still looks great. I love the barbed hands. It looks pretty good. I like it. Mothra will retail at the same price as Godzilla at about $23. Now, the Rodan, man, that's something else. It is fantastic. It is my favorite figure of this bunch apart from Godzilla. The, the sculpt has been made to perfection. The eyes look a tad bit weird, but the head sculpt is amazing. I love the claws on the wings. It all is perfect. I'm pretty sure this will also be about $23. There's no official price yet, but I'm pretty sure that's the price. But yeah, this is one of the most detailed NECA figures I've ever seen. I forgot to mention they're making a Mothra larvae figure, and it looks pretty cool. Well, it's ugly. It's a giant worm, essentially, but... Pretty sure it comes with the Mothra figure, and the sculpt is pretty nice. The paint is a tad bit sloppy, I have to say, but I can't judge them. It's because it's, I'm pretty sure it's small, so it's like in, in scale with Mothra, like the final form of Mothra, but I like it. Moving on to Jurassic World, Mattel just revealed their Indominus Rex, and I have two words. Holy crap. Every single aspect about this figure is perfect. A bunch of people are complaining that the tail is too small, but I don't understand. I think it fits perfectly with the body, and I mean, just look at the size of it alone. It's huge, and look at all that detail on the scales. I'm loving it. And it just looks so much cooler in the packaging, too. This figure will retail at $39.99. Unfortunately, most of the figures that have been revealed at Toy Fair are horrible excuses for repaints, and I mean, just look at that concavenator. It looks like trash. It looks like a knockoff toy. However, some of them do look good. For example, the Baryonyx looks really great. I'm thinking I like this one better than the original paint. There is one figure that shines over all the horrendous repaints, and it's the Super Colossal Velociraptor Blue. I was not expecting them to make this, and... I was always wanting one of these, but it turns out they are, and I'm super excited for it. Hopefully it can swallow figures, I mean, I don't know, that's kind of a weird comment. I'm sure it can, because it's super colossal, but 
The sculpt looks great. I'm not sure if the eyes look too big or too glossy, but it overall looks really nice. The price for this figure has not been specified yet. So those were all the reveals at Toy Fair that I'm looking the most forward to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more cool videos.